Sounds 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's start the timer. Ding. Uh, TNT. I, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> there he is. I saw mm-hmm. that in there was an uh, uh, an investigation in this jail that they're, they were torturing prisoners oh, man. by playing baby shark on yeah. a loop and then keeping them in a cell and playing baby shark and then like the guy ended yeah. up back in the prison and they ended up dead or something so because he they narked out like the officers and they yeah so he oh okay see so like i had heard about this story not to mention well first let's start out by saying that's some guantanamo bay type shit right there that's going on man that's literally some guantanamo and bay they said that they uh it, in the article when i read through it they were in a room and they had to stand up too. So they had mm-hmm. to like stand up and they were like shackled to the wall and they had to listen to Baby, Baby Shark, Shark. loop over and over and over yeah. again. And then, so what you're saying is what happened is that, see, I thought that he died from having to listen to Baby Shark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing at no, it. No, they're, se- they're two separate instances. Oh my God. All right. So not laughing at it because, you know, a man died, you know, criminal or not. I thought that he died from listening to oh, Baby no. Shark. Oh no, he was in there before and he, and he was one of the two prisoners that this was happening to. And I think they got found out and there was like kind of like an investigation and they got, the uh, people got in trouble. He got in trouble again and went back to jail to the same jail and he ended up dead in the jail. That's that, kind of wild. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's like, why him of all people? Oh, unless, yeah. you know, unless he caused the issue or something. And I don't know. I don't remember why, how he died, but I think it was like suspicious sort of suspicious, like Suspicious. Yeah. Right. It wasn't just something like, oh, just somebody stabbed him. Uh, <laughs> we're the greatest news program ever so <laughs> i mean dude you want the you, you get the potatoes <laughs> there's there's so, so many what potatoes. we know from what, so what we know is that there's a dead man who had to listen to baby shark and uh, that's fucked up i think the baby shark aspect <laughs> is more messed up than them murdering him it, in prison i mean i kind of want to know if these guys are guilty of murder like i mean it, it's awful that they would dehumanize a person by forcing them to stand up listening to baby shark yes but did they also kill this man because he snitched on him that is double the bad yeah 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 uh, oh, oh uh, look all right if they were willing to do the baby shark thing, don't you think they'd be willing to kill him too? You know, part of me wants to say <laughs> no, but the the part of me that wants to say yes, I do, is even stronger. Yeah. They, so of yes, they I would. absolutely do like, think. How do you? How do you like be, just be like? I'm gonna put someone in a room, chained to the wall, standing exactly. up, and play the same song over and over again. Not only that, yeah. it's a children's song for hours on end. It's literally the Tuskegee experiment. I'm telling you right now, it's, it's, so, it's so crazy how a person can be that sadistic and just forget that another person is human. And it's, and it's being in that little position of power where that kind of stuff happens, man. They, they lose sight of, like, uh, they don't have, like, a Hippocratic Oath or anything. Yeah. They're just like a, a, what, an accomplice officer? Not even accomplice officer. Corrections officers. Yeah, I don't, and, well, and just seeing, like, Okay, and I and I don't want to speak for jail reality TV to be real because it's not <laughs> as real as it can be, right? You think but, about Oz. No, yeah, no, <laughs> but like just all those shows that they they do, they have so much documentary type footage in jails, and when you see the correction officers, they always act like yahoos, man. Like, yeah, yeah, and. And I guess, like, if you're – there's 30 of you and 200 of them, yeah, yeah. you have to keep that off the <coughs> – that, like, you know, that kind of role, right? But, to a certain like, extent, yeah. But, yeah, man, like, I don't know why you got to be a D. There's still people. That's the thing, man, is that there's a lot of those corrections officers who are cool, and they – and they're the, – the people – the inmates are more willing to speak with them. They're more willing to tell them information. They're more willing to come and confide in them. If they know there's a problem in their cell block, because they're like, this person actually gives a shit. He'll actually help out or, or her or whatever. Right. Um, So it's, it's beneficial to the relationship with the inmates to be a more, not necessarily like give them any special treatment or anything or, uh, you know, still enforce the rules, but to at least have a camaraderie to a certain extent. A yeah, I mean, you can be like, 
quote unquote kind and still be strict. Yeah, like man, they're already living, they're already in hell. Right. right? It, they they did the crime, they're already in prison. That's right, punishment. Right, right. Like you like you can still like they still can't do anything, but you can at least just yeah. be generally nice and not like just be like a jerk or like yeah, yeah. or do stuff like put them in a room listening to Baby Shark. Like and and look, that's not to detract from the point that this guy was probably an asshole. Okay, let's. I'm gonna be the one to say it. I'm gonna <laughs> be. I'm sorry that he's that he passed away, but he was probably an asshole. All right. I feel like check I, it. The man okay. was in jail. Yeah, it got to the point. With these guards, where they were like, "I'm about to make this motherfucker stand in the cell and listen to Baby Shark because he won't stop doing X." Yeah, and I guess the House of Ears X, right? Yeah, like and, it, and you, what would warrant that? Why can't they put him in the hole? Why I, can't they? Exactly. I don't think that these guards were so sadistic that they were like, "Hey, you see that inmate over there?" <laughs> Let's just grab a rando and yeah. throw him in her cell. Yeah, I see him over there. <laughs> Let's put that mf in a cell and make him listen to Baby Shark. Ooh, that's salty. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't... Or yeah, spicy. Like, I feel I guess like, I yeah, I feel spicy. like the guy who lays in his cell and reads and, like, whatever, just keeps yeah. to himself, they aren't just going to walk in and grab him and put him yeah. in a room and put, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you have to, like have a negative rapport yeah, to the point where like they don't they're at wit's end but still my ultimate thing is like you still could put him in solitary you could there's also if he's that bad there's yeah. other ways to discipline him in the jail that yeah. aren't making him listen to baby shark <laughs> it, that's what i'm saying and, and, and a lot of these people who are that much of a troublemaker or that much of a disruption they got some mental issues that need to be helped, you know? Yeah. That, that's I've, Like, we've seen a lot of, like, that 60 days in, and I know that's not an accurate representation of what prison is like, but we've seen a lot of people who it's like, oh, he's crazy. He needs he needs some help. Yeah. He needs some help. He needs some milk. He needs some meds. <laughs> yeah, he needs all of it. He needs all of those things. Yeah, dude. It... I just... I, I just... It, it blows my mind. Um... Just how people can just be so inhumane sometimes like that. Be and, like, and what actually the reason I, I say that is like like I, I walked, went downtown, walked around last night. Mm -hmm. And there was just like homeless people like laying around on the corner. Like this is a closed off street with bars. Mm -hmm. And people are wandering up and down the street. And there's just a man yep. at the corner on the intersection sleeping on the ground. There's like 30 cops at every intersection for a you know, to make sure stuff doesn't pop off. Oh, yeah. But they do nothing about the man who's just, like, not even to, like, be like, hey, like, oh, are you good? Are you alive? Like, he's just, like, laying. The no one's doing anything. There's just a man laying in the street. Yeah. And everyone's living their life. And yeah. this dude is just in the middle of everyone is just laying in the street. You don't know if he's dead, drunk. It mm. just, it's just, I was just like, man. <sighs> It's it's hard for me to it's hard for me to say too much, man. But people get used to it. Yeah, well, but it's just like, but yeah, and I get it, right? But you don't want to mess with someone because people can be dangerous and like whatever. But yeah. I still would think they'd be like, <coughs> you're laying on the middle of the sidewalk on a busy street. You need to get up and go go somewhere else. Like, why wouldn't the cops at least get them up and get them out of that area? I, I don't know <laughs> because, like, do you feel like he should move to, just to make you feel comfortable? I feel like that's more inhumane than what would. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess you're, you're, maybe there's there's two sides of the, there's two sides of the spectrum. There's make him get up and leave so that it, it makes you more comfortable. There's let him be there because he's a human and he deserves to be where he wants to be. Or there's C, help him out. I got you. <laughs> I yeah. feel you. Helping out ain't, ain't necessarily something that we could do. We can't do that for every single one. Right, right. So it becomes like yo, just let him let him be there. And maybe that's the point of it. Maybe if you were homeless and sick of it and yeah. sick that no one ever helped you, like that that's it's, like I'm gonna be in your view. So honestly, like, it's good for him to be in a high traffic area because maybe somebody like you will come along and buy him a god dang sandwich. Right? Yeah. I mean So let him let him be. Yeah, yeah, it was just interesting. On the same note, I'm not engaging. Yeah, I'm not gonna go up and tap him on the shoulder and be like, Hey buddy. You need something from the store? No, but if you had walked by and left him like a, a freaking uh, croissant, which I'm sure he would have been happy as hell. <laughs> Woke up and there's a croissant with a hell little pizza yeah. laying next to him. 
<laughs> right? Yeah, he's like, I dreamt a pizza and it showed up. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, that's all time we have today's episode. Go to thecrazyhunter.com and subscribe for donuts. TNT. Are we up?